While there was increased police presence on all Mansfield ISD campuses today, we are waiting like you to know just how long that presence is going to stay in place. And we also asked Arlington police about the claims that bullying may have led to yesterday's shooting. They told us it is definitely something they're looking into. Andrea Lucia spoke with some families today, in fact, who want to see the district take the issue more seriously. When the school year started, I told my mom I did not feel safe, that I thought there was going to be a shooting. A senior at Mansfield ISD, Kyle Stamey, says he regularly avoids the cafeteria and large hallways, worried he'll have nowhere to run from a shooter. He says he's been a victim of bullying and doesn't feel Manfield ISD takes security seriously. And I really hope something changes. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about my sister at this point. Cell phone video shows Timothy Simpkins being tackled and punched in the head moments before he's accused of pulling a gun. Relatives of the 18-year-old suspected shooter have claimed he was a victim of bullying and brought a gun to school for protection, a decision they admit was a mistake. Arlington police say they're investigating that claim and could file charges against others if they uncover more criminal acts. Absolutely, nothing's off the table, but I also want to stress that uh, even though that there uh, may be a uh, bullying or a fight, it still does not justify bringing a weapon to a school. Mansfield ISD does have an online system to report bullying and policies on how to respond to those reports. But a Facebook group, MISD Parents for Change, with nearly 700 members, has accused the district of sweeping bullying under the rug. It's a huge issue right now. The Texas Anti-Bullying Coalition says bullying can lead to loss of learning, depression, and in extreme cases, suicide. You know, it's 24-7, and there's, there's cyberbullying, there's bullying at school, uh, there's bullying after school. You know, it, 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 there's just, it's, it's, it's all the time. The district made counseling available here at the MISD Center for the Performing Arts and at a nearby church today. In a statement, it said the safety and security of students and staff has always been and will remain its number one priority. In Mansfield, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.